so in this section we are going to talk about uh, the server side attacks and uh, what things we can do if we have a server to attack and what information we can gain uh, with uh, from the servers and then try to hack into the server so uh, for that uh, as we have discussed earlier we only need an ip address we don't need a human interaction uh, we just need an ip address and then we can start gaining information and start scanning that ip address and gain more information about the services and their variants uh, and the vulnerabilities those server contains so if we are on the same network as our target uh, so uh, what we can do is we can use nmap or net discover uh, and we have been using that uh, before and i told you that how we can uh, we can uh, gain information about the target who is on the same network as us uh, so we can use nmap and net discover so nmap can be used outside our network too and it can be used inside the network too it's a very great tool uh, and and uh, you are uh, very familiar with it as i have explained that in the last videos so for example if target is a domain if we have a target and it is a domain uh, by domain i mean that it is a website with for example it is www.sports.com uh, or www.google.com so it is a domain so we can simply ping them and then by uh, pinging them we can get the, their ip address and then uh, by using that ip uh, we can actually uh, try to start scanning them and what i uh, what i mean by uh, by actually uh, pinging them is just just a simple request we send uh, uh, of ICMP packets and I'm going to show how, show you how how we can ping uh, any website. Uh, so, uh, for example, if our user is not into our network, if our target is connected to another network, so what that means is that they are not exposed on the internet. So what uh, this means is that they don't have a public IP. So if even if we try to hack them or even if we try to ping them, we cannot ping them because their IP is not exposed on the internet. So there are two kinds of IPs. One is called public IP and the other is called private IP. <clears throat> so I am going to show you uh, a few things here. So for example, if I go here and I am connected to a network and I write here that what is my IP. So this is the IP I have right now. So it is telling me that my my, my external IP is 27.255. So this is the IP which the whole internet sees about me. So uh, and it is saying that this is my public IP address. So for example, I am an I am a user and I am connected to a network and each and every packet which is flowing through my network, it's it is going out. Uh, from this IP address and and for example and if I try to ping uh, and if I IP config here and you can see that my IP here is 192.168.0.102 so what this means is that this IP address I am seeing here is my internal IP address so for example if another device connect to my uh, to my network and it has it will be having uh, an ip address of 192.168.0.103 so uh, this actually means is that, that there are two kind of ips one ip uh, is this kind this ip and the other ip uh, is the is the internal ip so even if i try to uh, gain uh, ping this network and even if i try to gain information about it and scan the information about it so all so any information i am going to get will be uh, will be the information of of my router because this is the only ip which is accessible to the internet or which is accessible publicly now uh, i am going to ping any network for example i ping www.sports.com so here you can see that i am getting a reply and this is the IP which is uh, which is uh, assigned to uh, this domain. So this is the domain www.sports.com and this is their IP that is 192.149.23.145. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, this is the public IP of this device or this of this of this domain and we can start scanning it uh, and we are going to uh, gain the information about it. Uh, so another thing uh, now I'm going to show you is 
that we are actually uh, going to run our server side attacks on this meta exploitable machine uh, we installed it earlier and if you haven't installed it i want you to go back and then you can uh, install it on there on your on your virtual box so there are some settings uh, you can go to settings and you can see that i am on the same net network as of my kali machine and Here it is. So I am on the same network as as the as in the previous videos we were using Windows 10 and we were on the same network as of our attack, attacker machine. So if I if config here and you can see that I uh, I have an IP of 10.0.2.12. <coughs> so so uh, this is a machine. This is a server actually, and I am going to show you that how this is a server actually. Uh, because this is uh, running some websites in the background and we're going to attack those websites in the future and then we can try to gain access to those uh, to those uh, websites and do some web application attacks on it so now if i go to my kali machine and here it is and if i uh, try to ping this meta exploitable machine uh, which is on the same network as kali i'm uh, you can see that its ip is 10.0.2.12 and if I ping it here 10.0.2.12 and I will get a reply. So here you can see that I am getting the reply from at a supply table and we are on the same network as uh, as this Kali machine. And I'm, uh, I told you that there is a server on 10.0.12 so we can uh, actually type in the IP address of our meta supply table machine and if we press enter you will see that here is the server so these are all the websites which are running on this on this server uh, there is a Matilde machine and there is a dwa machine uh, this is very famous when it comes to website uh, penetration testing so we are going to look into some of these websites and we will be running the web penetration testing attacks on it uh, so uh, the thing i wanted to explain to you is that think of uh, of this meta exploitable machine as a server it is a it is a normal computer you can see it is a unix computer i can install the graphical interface for it and then i can start using it just like kali uh, but right now i am only concerned about the, the thing is that i only want to uh, show you that this is a server this is a normal computer which has some websites which has some uh, websites which are hosted here and we can then access those websites uh, just by uh, just by putting in the ip address so this is uh, uh, this is how actually things work in uh, in the real world too that there is a server there is a computer for example it can be a windows machine and then that windows machine has uh, has many websites which are installed on it or which are actually uh, located in the root directory of that web of that of that windows machine and then you can just simply put the ip and that ip is exposed in, uh, externally and then you can access the website so this is how each and everything is working in the background and uh, we will, uh, for, for the next lecture we are going to uh, look into how we can uh, try to gain access and scan this meta exploitable machine or meta exploitable server you can say uh, and then uh, we will move on to the uh, to the client side section uh, where we can we will be attacking uh, the clients clients machine for example the windows and and linux and and all that all those type of machines so we will look into that too uh, but for now in this section we are only going to talk about server side attacks